Welcome one and all to the very first episode of Codcast Live. I am your host, Raining Shadows, and of course I'm joined by Ryan Perdue. And right now we're going to give you some interesting gameplay and commentate over it, Codcast style, over Turbine and a team deathmatch game right here. Yeah, what's up guys, Ryan Perdue here. And let me see here, starting off with Shadow Brigade getting taken out as he was going on top of the debris. So you guys, you obviously might be uh, knowing, knowing this map. It was the one in the multiplayer teaser trailer. So a lot of guys might know this map. But anyway, we're going to see how players interact with this map. You know, the do's and don'ts, how they get in gunfights and so on. Right, so right now, Shadow Perdue is not being conservative, standing at the top of that mountain, and he was able to take out J Blood pretty quickly. J Blood had no idea what just hit him. Yes, and we see here Shadow Perdue really showing himself on the map is really not advisable. You're open from all directions. So uh, as you do, it goes to the guy. He gets the guy through the window right here. That's yeah. a good shot. Clock Rex was just taken out. He was paying attention to Shadow Perdue's uh, teammate, but had no idea that Shadow Perdue had his targets on him, and he took him out quickly. But right now, of course, we're seeing him stay closer to the edges of the map, and he's able to take out this sniper. Blue bombs for you was taken out pretty quickly in the back. Of course, he was just doing a little bit of sniping there, but he was also taken out quickly. Yeah, we see a lot of guys. Some players, uh, you know, try to get get to know the map by sniping and staying in one place. It's really not advisable. Not to say you run around erratically and you know getting yourself killed but uh, you can play conservative stay at the outskirts and edges of the map and we've seen a lot of that in the rest of this gameplay exactly and one of the new things of course in black ops 2 are those square streaks and we keep seeing uh uav assist come up on the screen which is helping towards shadow produce next score streak and of course he takes out j blood again but this time he does it with the death machine Yes, and we see, I like how they brought back a couple of things, the debt machine and so on. It really brings add to the old feel of the game. And you see here, he throw it out, he's on the kill. And almost, I think he, of course he does, he gets a, immediately gets a kill. And not to mention, he gets J-Blood again. Which J-Blood must be getting really upset right now with the fact that he has been taken out so quickly and often by Shadow Purdue. Yes, and we see here, I think there are other players out there, you know, Blue Bombs. Oh, he gets the guy, right? He comes back for his revenge at the death machine kill right here. So we see in here, he's picking off guys, trying to control the map engagement with a Type 25. Right, so right now, let's move right along to Clock Rex, who is on a two-tier gun streak. And he is, of course, using the target finder, and he has two perks. Tell us about that, Ryan. Well, you see the two perks, he's using up his 10 points allocation here. He's using uh, his wildcard function, dexterity, and extreme conditioning. And now he also, along with it, he has cold-blooded and lightweight. He's really built himself a solid class here. Right, and of course, he's, he's a player who is really predicated on speed, because extreme conditioning is going to allow him to run longer. And of course, dexterity is going to enable him to climb things faster. And using this foul OSW, he's really making a noise right here on the map. Right, you see the foul is a really strong game. You guys will remember it from Black Ops 1. It's a really strong rifle. But right here, he gets taken out by Shadow Purdue. You know, Shadow <laughs> Purdue is on his streak again. Right, and he's really, really getting crazy on these guys. As we see, he's actually on a 5 gun streak but he gets taken out but let's stay with the seals faction let's spawn in on elite skater who is right now in the death machine room and he uh, you see he gets a kill right here uh really keeping enemies right here seems to be a popular choke point among the guys see he picks off two he's ah uh, he got overrun there by another guy right image 360 takes him out really quickly and let's just make a broad overview of the map let you guys know exactly where they are elite skater is coming around the corner and does not realize what is going on but he's helped by his teammates to take out that guy right there yes and you can clearly see in uh, that midsection of the map right there that's really a, a country uh, you know a choke point as it were and as you see elite coming around with his other teammates and trying to flank them so as i say it's a huge advantage to you know go at the outskirts of the map you can not only control the gun engagement in terms of 1v1 but you can also flank your enemies quickly right so of course shadow Purdue gets taken out right there but uh, he gets flanked right now by Puppy Master. We're going to move really quickly back over to the militia and go to Pus Puppy Massacre and see what he's doing. Yes, you see here, you think this it, it is the MP7. You guys remember it from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, to me, I've used it quite myself, and I gotta say, some people say it's not quite uh, powerful, but it really is a good SMG. It's the first you unlock, and uh, you can still use it. And on the militia side, you can see Shadow Purdue and NKBMW are really battling for the top spot. Let's move right back on to Shadow Purdue and see what he is doing. As we're seeing right here, is 
moving through the cavern and moving really slowly around. Yes, and you see, I'd like to point out to the perk he's using, toughness there. Uh, it's really good perk. Oh, he gets a nice long shot across the map <laughs> yeah, here. Yeah, he does. With the uh, Type 25. So the toughness, when he, where you're getting shot at, it doesn't make you flinch a lot. You know, keeps your shot on target so you, doesn't, you don't miss uh, your shots. Right, so blue blounds for you right there. Just got taken out. Had no idea that someone was behind him. And Shadow Purdue gets taken <laughs> yeah, out so. by Clock Rex inside that plane right there. Yes, and you got to notice that when you're taking on enemies, guys, and you kill one enemy, don't rush out. There's always probably there comes in twos and threes, so you got to be careful after taking out one enemy. Expect, and you think here he gets, he goes to another, uh, oh yes, he gets him, another long shot. The Type 25 is a really balanced uh, gun right here. Right, and of course, he's still getting guys with Clockworks being shot right down there in the cavern, and he's really getting some kills right now, almost at the edge of the map. Oh, he gets taken out here by a man with a fat blunt. And I got to say, guys, these names that I've seen, these IGNs, they're, they're sometimes quite hilarious. It never gets old, man. Really erratic, erratic names sometimes. Right, and as we can see, the militia is almost winning or almost finished the match with 71 over um, the Seas, which is 56. And, of course, the end of the map will come when the first team reaches 75. Yeah, so you see, team deathmatch is really, I like how they've they done the scoring system. So uh, this game is not coming to an end. I'll give Shadow the final word. Right, so I hope you guys continue to watch Codcasting live with Raining Shadows and Ryan Purdue. And of course, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah.